Hey folks, welcome to our open house today. We're here in Amberley Village Square in the townhouse section. This is one of the newer townhome community sections of Village Square. It was built by MI Homes in 2015, 16, 17. So these, these townhouses are only three, four, five years old. We've got a great new listing that just went live and I wanna give you a, a sort of in-person tour of it to really get more details than just what the photos have to offer. So please, you know, if you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below or reach out directly and send us a private message. We'd love to answer your questions and perhaps help you uh, in many different ways. But I want to give you a quick tour to start with just sort of the streetscape. One of the things I really like about this, this section of Village Square is the, how wide the streets are. There's parking on both sides on this street. We're in Balsam Fir. And there's really about, geez, 50, 60 feet between the townhouses, and it just breathes. It doesn't feel like a super dense, dense community. Even, and there's also nice places to like walk between the buildings. Right on the other side here is where the shops are in Village Squares. So this is a great part of Amberley. These are the shops that just opened starting summer of 2019. So they're now fully leased out and we've got some great options here. There's an Indian grocery store called Green Level Groceries. There's a, a nail salon. And then we come down here and we've got Green Waters Coffee and Tea that's just about to reopen in a month or so. And they've got great little breakfast, breakfast things and an amazing selection of teas and coffees. They're a local uh, small chain based out of Michigan. Over here is Amberley Local. And Amberley Local just opened in October. Uh, it is a great place for draft beers from uh, top draft beers from across the country, wine selection, sandwiches, pretzels, pickles, homemade. I mean, it's really a great spot to, for people to gather in the community and kids run around here all the time. So we're gonna come over here. You see, speaking of kids running around, you know, one of the things about Amberley, they're very small yards. And so you don't really have a lot of space for the kids to run, run in the yards. But there is in Village Square a playground and a dog park that are just for Village Square. And so those are great amenities. They just opened about a few years ago. And then out, right next to the shops, we're right here. This is what we call the amphitheater. And here you can see a big grassy area. We've had festivals. We've had a great spot to like, grab sandwiches or coffee and just come and sit outside in a bigger open space like a park. Um, last fall, there were three Friday nights in a row. We had live music playing down here on the, on the brick terrace there. And then this was filled. We had probably two, 300 people sitting on the lawn here going down on it. So, you know, it's just really community-based. I guess that's the way to share it. There's always stuff going on, places for people to meet up. And uh, we really enjoy that about this part of the neighborhood. It really feels more like city living in some ways, but a very livable city. And that's really the whole idea behind Village Square is this was the densest part of Amberley right here where it was walkable. Walk to the clubhouse, walk, the greenways are right behind us, get to some shops and it's great. It's got that sort of small town slash sort of urban feel to it, um, but really charming too. So here we've got this community, this we're sort of right in the middle. And then this is 56 or 561 balsam fir. And man, just from the get go, it's got a nice, you know, modern crisp entryway. Let's go inside and take a look. Well, welcome in. So the right from the get go, when you get in the door, we've got a nice closet there, coat closet, big room. And you come in immediately into this stunning, stunning room. Well, one. The seller uh, owner has impeccable taste, I would say, in, in, their, uh, in their furnishings here, but it really shows off what you can do with this space. We've got a double door, so a double French door with glass panes in here. She's got it set up as an office. It could also be a small formal dining room. If you're really, if you just have to have that formal dining room, this would be a great option for it. If you have little ones, I've seen people use this front room as a play area. You know, if your kids are like mine, where when they were, you know, two, three, four, five, they want to be right near you, at least on the same floor as you. And this can give you a nice dedicated play space on the main floor where the kitchen is, et cetera, and not be too far away. Again, really nice light coming in, big, big windows. So take a look at this window. I mean, it's almost the entire wall there. So tons of light flooding in here. 
come in, we have a powder room right off the entryway. Nice, tastefully done. And you come in and check this out. I mean, the very first thing my eye goes to is this kitchen. You know, in 2020 right now, we are still in the era of Gaga about our white kitchens. And I tell you, this hits it out of the park. Nice size island here, big, big sink, classy faucet here, and just counter space for a townhouse. I mean, look at the size of this kitchen. It just goes and goes. Really nice granite here and a natural gas stove. Well, if you're like me, having this much time at home has maybe brought out the inner chef in you. I don't know, I've been doing a lot of cooking recently. And I tell you, what, I came into this kitchen, and check this out. One, you've got the burners here, but two, check out this hood. Man, that is so important when you're cooking various types of food, anything you're frying, etc. But we've got this really nice, powerful light that highlights the cooking area, and a super high fan that vents out. So, gorgeous look, highly functional. That's on my must-have list for any kitchen. I mean, take a look at the oven real quick. With this a microwave oven on top. Look at this, in great shape. Look how clean it is here. And on below, we've got a large, large oven in here. GE appliances, they look in great shape. Nice little pull-out drawer down below. Lots of cabinets and storage here. So, i GE dishwasher as well. And take a look at this pendant lights over the, over the island. I mean, that's just, it's got a really nice touch to this, to this house. It all comes together. It has a, this feeling of crisp, clean, modern. Here, they've got room for up three or even four um, high top chairs here to go and eat breakfast. My kids eat at the, at the island almost every meal. <laughs> they love that. But right here, you've got room for you know, a good sized table that really the majority of, plenty of space. I mean, people will often work from here, kids will do homework from here. All this room right connected. Come into the living room, again, spacious. Lots of room, lots of can lights in here. One, two, three, four in the living room in addition to the lamps. Makes it quite well lit. And we have a natural gas fireplace right here in the living room, which I tell you, you know, in this part of North Carolina, I love tossing on our, our natural gas fireplace because it's so convenient. You know, that first night when it goes below 40 or so, it's just so nice to be able to toss that on and it just, it really gives a great ambiance. Easy, quick, low maintenance. We'll take a quick look outside here. Again, lots of natural light flooding in. This is sort of north facing here. So you don't get a lot of direct light coming in here, but a lot of indirect. And check this out. You know, this is townhouse living. We've got the garage on the right side and your neighbor's garage on the left side. So it's sort of a courtyard, but I tell you, you're outside. It's not a lot of space necessarily, but it is fairly private. You could be out here and have a conversation and you're pretty limited in your exposure to the street. And there's shrubs and trees, a crepe myrtle back there that, uh, you know, as they're leafed out, you know, they provide pretty nice privacy back here. It's nice and tucked away. And they've done a good job with the landscaping right around here. Fresh mulch is in here, room for a grill. You know, some nice options out here for outside. And again, that's your own private outside, but you're also just less than a block from the patio between Amberley Local and Sweet Waters and the, and the amphitheater that's over there. So there's lots, you know, it really encourages getting out and walking in this neighborhood. And I tell you, that's what people, I, especially during this time, there have been so many people out walking, but they designed the sidewalks and sort of close by destinations that just makes walking so pleasurable in this area to get out and see people and just be part of the community. We have the garage coming in. Here's a drop zone, which is great for your shoes, a place to sit, you know, gloves, hat, jackets in there. What just makes slightly smaller uh, square footage. How you use the space really matters. We have a one car garage here and really high ceilings. So you can see uh, we've got some shelves built in already. Lots of opportunity to do more stuff on the on the walls here. They've got a nice rack system there to hold ladders and stuff. And if you come in and around, you'll see they've got another stack of shelves up there where they've got bike helmets, shoes, you know, 
stuff just to keep handy. Organization really helps and they've already got you started here with these nice shelving systems they have. All right, coming up to the second floor. It's so peaceful up here. It's got a nice long hallway in the center. You see over here, it actually breathes. It opens up to the downstairs there where the staircase is. So it really just gives it this nice open feel. Gonna hold off on the master because that's something you don't want to miss. Let's go check out a couple of the bedrooms and the laundry room right here. Check out the size of this laundry room. That's pretty big for a townhouse. It gives you lots of room in there. That was a real surprise for me. I love the natural light in this room. Again, we're north facing on this side and yet still look how much light there is in here. It just, you know, it's coming in a little bit. We're getting towards the summertime, but we're getting a ton of light in here. Spacious, big closets. And check out the carpet. This carpet, I don't know how well this will show up on video, but I would say, you know, when I walk around, it is really plush. There's a nice pad on it and really soft carpet coming through here. Get a little long view of the, uh, of the hallway towards the master. Here's the second room and I'd say this would be a sm slightly smaller second bedroom up here in addition to the master. It's a three bedroom. So this would be maybe what you call the third, the third bedroom, but this could very easily be an office, a workout room, a guest room, if you didn't need all three as bedrooms. It's a very versatile space. And again, beautiful light coming through. These big windows, I think that's something that really stands out about this house. That's a massive window box that lets just the light flood in. Uh, I guess you'll see again, pretty fairly deep closet in here as well. And it's a double door to get into this closet. All right, we'll come down here. These two bedrooms share a bathroom here. I'll let you just walk in and take a look. Got dual sink and then come in a nice private separated uh, shower and toilet, which allows people to utilize the sink. If you have you know, a couple kids, they can kind of use both rooms, like kind of like a Jack and Jill, but this really is helpful for having the two, supporting the two bedrooms. Got a linen closet, storage, storage, storage. Look at all that space in there for towels. It's deep too. It gives you a lot of room. We'll come in double door into the master. Let's pan this real quick, starting that way and come, come across. Again, the owner's got great taste in my opinion. Kudos to her. But this room is big and I'll especially point your attention to up. Up, look at this. We've got, at least 10 foot ceilings. That might be pushing 11 feet there. Very, very spacious. This is south facing. Again, the continuing the theme, three huge windows in here. Let's the light just flood in. In the winter time, man, that would be nice to have that. I can imagine if you had a cat or something, this would be their spot. They would want the south facing. Lots of room. We've got two closets here. This is the main closet, the bigger closet. I think my wife would claim this one, Lisa, you, <laughs> you know it. So good size closet in here for one. And then as you come in, you've got again really nice door. The finishes are great. As you come in, we've got a second slightly smaller closet here that's as you go into the bathroom. Behind that, we'll come in and around. We've got a sort of linen, another linen closet in there, really deep. Lots of space. Check this out. Quartz, countertop, dual sink, white cabinets still matching the kitchen as you come through. Come on around. We've got a big, big shower in here. I like those built-ins there for the shampoo and soap over there. We've got a lot of space as well as the bench down below. That's neat. I like how they did the belt bench on the like long side as opposed to the back side there. It gives you a lot of room over there and then private toilet room as well. Let's head out for some final thoughts. Folks, thank you for joining us for this open house. This townhouse went live on Thursday and man, at $350,000, get just under 2,100 square feet 
and it's not about the numbers. So often with townhouses, people are like, oh, is it 1900, is it 2200? It's about how the space is used and how you feel in that space. And if you're comparing townhouses, you've gotta come check this out because they really nailed it. The quality of the finishes and just the upgrades, the crown molding, the white kitchen, the appliance package that they bring, you know, and just the overall aesthetic. It is really, really a great house in my opinion. So if you'd like more information, reach out to us and we can set up a time for a showing or just answer any other questions you have. Hope you're staying safe and uh, look forward to seeing you soon.